Oh, awesome. <laughs> I didn't even notice that my recording started. All right, it's all good. Anyways, we're back. We're going to be looking at solving inequalities with multiplication and division. Again, just one step equations. Sorry, inequalities, not equations. But um, I did want to look at multiplication and division because there is a certain issue that happens here where students um, get problems wrong that they feel like they shouldn't get wrong, but they get them wrong because of it's just a technique like a technical thing that we have to be aware of when working with inequalities okay so first things first i'm just going to go ahead and grab a basic problem i wanted to grab a word problem because at the end of the day that's what we really need to make sure we could do because ultimately the skills are working the algebra right but but another skill we need to work on is interpreting the english language and well turning it into mathematics so here you go um we got ourselves four times a number here let me go ahead and move this a little bit four times a number is greater than negative 48 okay so i wanted to show this because it has a negative symbol um let's go ahead and i think we're good i think we're good here let me just make it a little bit eh, let me just get out of here sorry about that okay so four times right four times this is the number four right four now i'm gonna put the dot to represent times i hope we all make sure we start using dots if you really want to put the time symbol on the paper because uh, x's are, you know, something that we should be saving for the variable. Just, I mean, we don't want to confuse ourselves. But four times a number. So in this case, we do not know what the number is. That's the variable. You could make up whatever you want to be the variable. Okay, so I'm going to use the letter y this time. Because, you know, I, I get in the habit of just using x all the time. It could be y. It could be a. It could be b. It could be whatever. Okay, so four times y is greater than so this is greater than part right here this part right here is greater than we'll go ahead and put the greater than symbol bam right there and it's greater than well i didn't even i didn't even highlight the than part man that's the most important part greater than negative 48 okay so we'll go ahead and drop that down all right so this problem ends up being exactly the same like if we were doing a normal solving equation you know whatever all that stuff that we've been doing you know in class it's the same type of thing, okay? So here, um, the opposite of multiplication, we have four times y. We don't want four y. We want one y. So the opposite of that multiplication is division. So we would have to divide both sides. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you got to do the other side. And we're using the division property of equality here, okay? We're, we're pretty much dividing both sides, okay? Multi you know, we're basically doing the opposite of multiplication. All right, so in this problem, my fours cancel, right? The fours cancel out. You go ahead and put a Y here. The greater than symbol stays the same. And, well, 48 divided by 4 gives us a value of 12. And since these signs are different, a negative and a positive creates a negative, okay? So in this problem, we end up with Y is greater than negative 12. Again, if we wanted to create the number line, of course, we could just go ahead and put like three little tick marks to represent, you know, where, where we're going, the negative 12. We would circle the negative 12. This is going to remain unshaded or open because we do not have the or equal to or anything like that. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and shade. And in this sense, since Y is greater than, we'll shade to the right. Okay, but it remains open. And there you go. And there you go. So we'll be shading to the right. And at some point, it will become positive. Like positive values will also make this work. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into another problem here. Okay. I wanted to check another problem. Now, this one is going to be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Anyways, was, sorry. Sorry, that's, a, that's math humor, I guess. Anyways, I wanted to pick something that involved a negative. OK, and, and, and I don't mean negative as in the side that we already had the value for, like in this case, negative 48. I mean, we're going to have to work with the negative and undo a negative value. OK, if that doesn't make sense, well, it'll make sense right now. Let me go ahead and paste it in here and let's go and take a look at another problem. Number 25. Again, I picked this one because it is a word problem. We have to be able to convert and, you know, it's, it's always good to practice. All right. We got ourselves negative 12 times a number is no more than 84. All right. Before we even do this problem, I wanted to make sure that I covered this. 
okay? This is huge. This is huge. What, what this basically means is that when we do our inequality, the only one that will be canceled out or the only one that won't be selected is no more. Like it's more than we're not going to use it. We're not going to use more than. So there's two other options that exist. And I hope this makes sense when I explain this. Right. There's two other options less than. And I apologize. I know I look that actually looks a little weird because <laughs> that looks a little weird to me because, well, it's right written over white and black. But anyways, let me go ahead and write that a little bit further down here. But less than is not more than. And what else is not more than? Well, equal. Okay. So essentially, when you ever see a no in front of like one of the options, it basically means everything else except that option. So in this case, if we don't use more than, there's two options. So, so right here in this problem, that is no more than essentially means the same thing as less than or equal to. OK, so that's it's essentially the same thing. OK, anyways, let's go ahead and write this out. We have negative 12. All right. We got negative 12 over here right here. This negative 12 is going to be right here. Negative 12 times. If you want to put a little dot right, represent the multiplication symbol, a number. We could use the letter A this time. Now is no more than again means the same thing as less than or equal to. And in this problem, it's going to be 84. All right, 84. All right, in any case, let's go ahead and start dividing these things out because the operation we see is multiplication right here. So the opposite of multiplication is division. We're going to divide both sides by negative 12 here. And before we'll, you know, I'll, I like to draw my little line straight down just so I can keep myself organized. You know, this is this is actually this is more for me than than my students, right? <laughs> this is actually more for me because I'm a very disorganized. Uh, you guys are probably already tell. I've already seen people in my classroom so much better handwriting, so much better work, look at least better looking work than mine. It looks amazing. But in any case, you know, it just helps me to be organized. So we have ourselves negative 12 on the left side, and we're dividing by the same negative 12. We basically cancel these out. It doesn't make a zero pair. It, it's the multiplicative inverse property, but we're basically left with the letter A on the left side, okay? We got to do the work 84 divided by 12. OK, so hopefully, you know, sometimes if you know some times tables like this is, and this is just a strategy. Look, if you know your multiplication tables, man, you could you could just I mean, obviously, you already know what the answer is. But sometimes if you do kind of need a place to start, sometimes I always like to start multiplying by five because five when you multiply by five is usually the easiest way to do this. To, to, it's like an easy way to come up with like an answer. But as you could see. Instead of starting from 12 times 1, 12 times 2, 12 times 3, or whatever, you know, you just, multi you know, somewhere in the middle, 5, and then you can see if you either have to go down or up. And in this case, as you can see, 12 times 7 is 84. So 84 divided by 7 is 12. Okay, that's what it is. A positive and a negative, different signs, so our answer will be negative. Easy problem, but I hope, see, this is the thing. When we multiply, I'll just go write the rule. When we multiply or divide, and I'm writing this down because I hope you kind of, you know, really notice that this is super important. I'll even put a star next to it. That's how important it is. Oh, man, that's how important it is. When we multiply or divide by a negative, okay, by any value that has a negative, the inequality... Okay, I, I spelled the inequality wrong, man. <laughs> I was on a roll, but I already started messing up. Okay, but anyway, sorry about that. The inequality becomes, and I'm gonna just put this in quote in little print. I mean, quotation marks flipped, right? It becomes the opposite. It becomes the opposite. Okay, if you want to think of it that way, it becomes the opposite. So in this problem, we have ourselves less than or equal to. That's what I see up here, the less than or equal to. But since we multiplied or divide by a negative, it flips to a greater than or equal to. And in this problem, because we multiplied by a negative, or in this case, we divided by a negative, we end up with the inequality flipped. So just be careful because a lot of people do make that mistake. And one silly thing, such as an inequality symbol, could make you get this wrong. All right. So again, if we needed to use a number line to go ahead and show this, 
we could go ahead and you know put a little three little tick marks of course a negative seven would be the tick mark that would be circled it's also going to be shaded because it has the or equal to and since you know a is greater than negative seven we would be shading to the right okay and it's pretty interesting we'll be shading to the right to the more than side because it was no more than in the beginning but once we multiplied or divided by a negative you know the more than became the one we're looking at here okay so remember this remember this rule i put more stars next to it because that's how important it is man look at all those stars you could tell it must be super important okay we'll go ahead and uh stop it here but hopefully you got to see that you know this, this is a super common mistake and we don't need to be making these mistakes okay so I'll go ahead and stop this recording and we'll go ahead and take a look at another uh, multi-step inequalities now. And we'll go ahead and make sure we can handle those, okay? Well, I hope you guys have a good one.